Do you think shorting is, uh, can you speak at a high level just for your own as a person? Is it good for the world? Is it good for markets? I do think that the two kinds of shorting evil shorting <laughs> and chill shorting. Okay. Um, chill. Evil shorting is what Melvin Capital was doing. Um, uh, and it's like you put a huge position down, you get all your buddies to also short it, and you start making press and um, and trying to bring this company down. Yeah. Um, and I don't think, in, in some cases, pe- there's you go out after like fraudulent companies, say, this company is a fraud, Maybe that's okay. Like some, but but this they weren't even saying GameStop. They're just saying it's a bad company, and we're gonna bring it to the ground, bring it to its knees. Um, a quant fund like Numerai, we always have lots of positions, and we never have a position that's like more than one percent of our fund. So we actually have right now two hundred and fifty shorts. Um, I don't know any of them except for one. <laughs> because it was one of the meme stocks. <laughs> but um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, but it, we're shorting them not to make them go, we don't even want them to go down necessarily. Yeah. That doesn't, doesn't sound a bit strange that I say that, but we just want them to, to not go up as much as our longs. Right. So by shorting a, a little bit, we can actually go long more in the things we do believe in. So when we were going long in Tesla we could do it with more money than we had because we would borrow from banks who would lend us money because we had longs and shorts, because we didn't have market exposure, we didn't have market risk. And so I think that's a good thing because that means, um, you know, we can short the oil companies and go long Tesla and make the future come forward faster. And I do think that's not a bad thing.